Hey guys, Mark here with Along for the Ride. Um, well, we're down at the lake house and we're slowly making progress on this thing. Right now, I've got tree company out here. Turn back all these trees and actually removing this one tree over here because this, uh, this one tree next to the house, I mean, it's only two or three feet away from the house and it's probably got a at least a four foot diameter trunk on the back side there. I mean, that big old thing, roots will be pushed on the foundation. I'm surprised it's not a chance for winter ice and stuff landing on this house. So anyway, that big old thing's got to come down. So anyway, just showing you a little bit of progress here. We'll keep showing you as we go. Talk to you later. Was it fun? Take a spin and check out. I wish we were a little bit higher up if we were on a big hill. Well, there's a little island out there. Oh yeah. A little bitty one. Kind of neat. Yeah. I get to see this stuff like this every day. successfully got the futon put together. We're gonna waiting on a cube to arrive to put there, the TV. I put this cot here for now. Um, we're gonna buy another futon. I think that'll work here in the sunroom. So that was mission accomplished. And the boys have been working tirelessly for hours putting the bunk bed together. They've met 
some pretty frustrating times. But time. where are the bulbs? I I. She had to deflate the air mattress to have room to work. This little teeny bedroom. Stop pulling on that. I'm not. You're let go of it. Oh, as you've seen earlier in the videos, we um, had a tree taken down that was really too close to the house. So, and lots of them trimmed. But anyway, the guys that was cutting it down had an idea to um, make this a tabletop. So, yeah, we need to get rid of the sawdust and blow that off. I was just playing around with some ideas and looking on Pinterest, but I said, yeah, let's do that. That, that sounds neat. Let's make it a tabletop. So, now we are going to look up some ideas and figure out how to finish that off, but that turned out great. Great idea. So, it's been a very busy but very successful day. Mark also, another thing, Mark has been working on um, running water lines to the sunroom so we can, or yeah, for the washer and dryer right here. So, he's been under the house in the crawl space, having all kinds of fun with that, but that's another project in the works. So. We shall keep you updated. Hey guys, it's been an extremely busy day, but a very productive one. Um, Mark got drain lines and water lines ran for the future home of the washer and dryer. Like I said earlier, we got the futon put together. The boys got the bunk put together. All right, Mason, now he's relaxing and enjoying Can you do this? your time. Tonight, tonight we have our seven children coming, plus my daughter's boyfriend and one of my kids' friend. So we have nine kids coming. So with us, Mark and I, that's 11. We are going to be hosting 11 people in a two-bedroom lake house. So my plan for sleeping is, we should be able to get, why is there no lights in here, Mason? We should be able to get two on the air mattress. We need to get another set of bunks, but we haven't done that yet two in the bunks, that's four. The sofa bed makes out for two more, so we got six. The futon will lay down, that's seven. And then that cot, which hope to get a super, super I can't talk, another futon there in the future. That's eight. So I just need to come up with one more air bed or something for one other person and we, we can easily sleep eight right now. We just need to come up with one more because we will have nine plus Mark and I in here. So anyway, we are going to cram 11 people in a two bedroom lake house. It's going to be fun. Hey guys, thought I'd give you a little update on what we've been doing around here at the lake house. Um, we've been making lots of progress on little small projects. Um, we got a little cube set up here for the TV. That's going to work well. Got a clock hung on the wall. Still got to figure out how to manage these cords a little better. Um, got our second futon set up. Got curtain rods hung. These are really big windows, so that was a challenge. I still need another set. I didn't order enough curtains, but we're making do. We just did little tie back things because during the day we don't want to lose our view, but then we can drop them at night. So that should be pretty handy. Um, Mark got the water and electrical ran so we could have laundry over here in the corner. That's going to be a lifesaver. Um, I had an idea to, Mark talked about building a half wall here because um, we wanted to kind of hide or camouflage the washer and dryer. And I had this wild idea to just grab one of the pallets we had and paint it. And that turned out really well, um, I think anyway. Kind of a cute little distraction when you walk in for the laundry area so I can hope to kind of contain that. And we have our table here with our laptop set up. We run our own company, so when we come to the lake, we still try to work and answer phones, schedule appointments. It's really great that we're able to do that um, from down here at the lake, and I will go into how we do that here in a little bit. But here's my little laundry area. Pretty proud of that. That turned out good. We have not been able to do lake at the, do laundry excuse me, at the lake, so that's been an um, absolute lifesaver. And we gotta do something with these stairs. This is still the original. I'm gonna come up with a plan for that. Um, I have been making foil pans. We are having, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 16 for dinner tonight. So this is a quick, easy way. Throw these on the 
grill. Um, if you've seen in my other videos, this is a large version of foil packs. We've done potatoes, onions, sausage, peppers, mushrooms. Right now I have them sitting in water while I chop things and wait to get them cooking. Then we'll drain the water off and we usually just season them with butter and seasoning salt or salt and pepper or whatever we are in the mood for. And they are absolutely amazing. Great, quick camping meal, so. <coughs> Not yet, good job. You can not yet. it. <laughs> okay. So you wanna, yeah. Thinking about it. Just thinking about it. It's like now I know I shouldn't do that. I gotta leave. You're making it too. Well, he probably hasn't eaten in a while. All right, guys, we are headed to the Lucas Oil Truck and Tractor Pool. Expensive to do, that's why we're doing track treasures. They're really right there on the shelf. I think they're a dollar for earplugs. Um, you can get some earbuds and all surf and kneeboard and all kinds of fun stuff so they're pretty excited they're getting ready to go out with them and i am going to send the gopro with them so that should be some interesting video kid cam <laughs>